Hi there, welcome to the video. In this one we are going to be solving this particular problem from LeetCode and what we are going to do, I'm going to solve it first the easy way, explaining everything that happens uh, step by step and then we can, uh, we can show how we can optimize it, basically writing it in a shorter way so we can learn a little bit more uh, along the way. So, uh, going here, if you are here, I'm thinking you already read the problem. So what I'm going to do is, anyway, the, uh, the link to the problem is in the description, so you can go and read it if you didn't read the description already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the starting function in Visual Studio Code. And what we want to do first is basically split the string into words. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to say something like const words and I'm going to say const words equal s, which is the string, and I'm going to use the method split, right? And here I'm going to split by spaces, so that way I will split this into a, an array of words because it's going to split the string at every space. But there is a problem here because we're going to uh, have to take the last word. And if after the last word is actually like a space, let's say we have the string like this, I am going to the shop, and you have a space, by using this, your, uh, your array is going to be something like this. It's going to be I am, so every word after that, every word, or one by one and at the end you're gon going to get an empty string if you actually have a space after the last word so before you do this split by space what we want to do is actually use the method stream as well what the method stream does is if you use it on a string and you have spaces at the beginning and the end of the string like this and you use the method stream on it like this maybe stream and you do that, what this does, it removes the, uh, any, any spaces at the end of your string or, or at the beginning. So what we're going to do here, first we're going to remove any spaces that are at the beginning or the end. So I'm going to say s trim and make sure you call the method and then we're going to split it by uh, spaces. So now we have an array of all the words. So now what I want to do is get the last word from here, const last word equals to words pop now what the pop method does is actually removing the last uh, the last element of an array but while it's removing it it also returns it so we can put that last word in this uh, in this um, in this uh, variable right now sometimes if if this uh, if this string is empty, what's going to happen is that this last word won't exist because the array won't have any elements. So you will get something like undefined. So here you can say something last word equal words pop or you can use the or logical operator and you can say empty string. So if, 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 there, is, if, if there is no element in the array, then you can say the last word in it is an empty string because you want to return zero if there is no element to return right so now at the end what we want to say is just return last word length right so let me copy this and stick around because after this we're going to show how we can write this shorter so let's see if this works let's run the code And I don't know why it shows like it takes so so long. It's probably my internet, right? Let's submit it. Okay, and we get success. And let's see now how we can write this shorter. So I'm going to copy this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a ternary operator. Now let's see when, when does it happen uh, when does it happen that there's actually no word in the array 
that we have to use this thing so that we return zero. There is no word when there's uh, when the when, when the string is actually empty, right? Or when you just have spaces. So first, what we want to do is we want to use the return immediately, right? And we say if s, which means if s actually has any value, it's not an empty string, so it's not something like this, right? So we say if this is a truthy value, which means there is something inside, it's not just an empty string. Then here we want to do something, which we will show after this. Uh, if not, we, we want to return something here, right? But if not, we're returning zero. So if this is an empty string, we just want to return zero, right? So what do we want to return here? Let's see what we're saying. We're just saying again, s trim, right? And then we basically say split. We trim again the spaces at the end and at the beginning, right? We say split by space again, right? And then again, we pop, we pop the last one because at the moment, after we use trim and split in here, this, uh, this uh, value is actually an array. And when we pop, it actually removing the last element from the array, but also we have it returned in this expression. So at this moment, this expression is the last word, the last word in the string. And then we just use length here. And as you can see, this is a matter of a personal choice. And also this can, if you use something like this in, in production, in a production environment, it can get quite hard to understand. So you may want to maybe write something that is longer, but it's easier to understand what is happening, right? But you can also write it like this. So at this moment, this should work. This is just basically shorter, but maybe harder to under understand for some people, right? So <clears throat> let's put this here and run code. And it works. And let's submit it. And again, this works. Now, if you enjoyed this one, I am making more videos like just like this one about code challenges. I am I'm also having live events where we are basically studying JavaScript, and I am also trying to explain along the way. I also plan to make videos about um, about projects live, and also about other languages at some point in time. So if you like something like that, please hit the subscribe button and YouTube will notify you about uh, any, any new videos that I make. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.